Revealing new details coming out in court today regarding the 1993 murder case of Latavia Johnson. In February, police arrested two men, and today one of those men, Robert Gaines, was before a judge to determine if there was enough evidence to proceed to trial. The other, Robert Brown, was on the stand testifying against him. 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso has been all over the story since the arrests and was in court today. Steve? Yeah, you know, Robert Brown entered a guilty plea in exchange for his testimony against his one-time co-defendant, Robert Gaines. And for about two hours this afternoon, he was on the witness stand, and he has quite a story to tell. But Rochelle Johnson, Latavia's mother, did not get the answer she wanted today. Was she at the house when you went to work? Yes. It's been more than 17 years since Rochelle Johnson's eight-year-old Latavia was gunned down. Latavia was clearly not the intended target, and that much has never been in question. But Rochelle had hoped today would bring more answers. Still wearing the halo he was prescribed after an accident during his extradition, Robert Brown made his way into the courtroom to testify against this man, Robert Gaines. Brown, who has now admitted and pled to his role in the murder, says it was all Gaines that night. Brown wove a tale of being robbed at a party store the night before, of a growing friendship that he had with Gaines and a party store owner who was so fed up with robberies in his parking lot that he provided the murder weapon to the pair. This is fine as punk. I says, do what you got to do to him. I want you to whack him. Brown admits that he wanted revenge on the people who robbed him. He says that Gaines agreed to do the deed, and while Brown waited in an alley, Gaines went off with a shotgun. But something went terribly wrong. I think I killed someone. I shot through a window. He said, I couldn't see who it was, but it was a flash of light. He said, so I shot through the window. I asked him, who was it? He said, I think it was a little kid. Gaines attorney John Beeson spent his time with Brown attempting to discredit him. When court was adjourned, Rochelle Johnson found herself in the court hallway no better off for the experience. Today I'm very puzzled. I thought I would have some answers today. Nothing. <coughs> puzzled. Now tomorrow morning the preliminary examination will continue at 8.30 a.m. They have a list of nearly 52 witnesses to call in this case, so it may go as late as Wednesday. Right now we're live in the newsroom. Steve Kelso, 24-hour news.